Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. Today we are working on this beautiful basset dresser that I found at my local restore. So grab your coffee, drink, tea, water, whatever it is you're drinking, and let's get right into the video. So you guys all know the routine. We're gonna start with a cleaning of this whole piece. I am using my Lily Moon Paint um, Furniture Prep Cleaner. And guys, this is so amazing because you don't have to do the rinse afterwards. So as you guys can see, I have my little helper here. Um, she is spraying down the piece for me while I am removing the hardware. Um, I think this is a really fun uh, step to include your kids on. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but my daughters love being a part of any furniture flip. Doesn't matter what I ask them to do, they want to do it all and they think they can do it all, um, which they can't. But um, it's fun to be able to include Bailey in these projects just, you know, to change things up a bit and give her, you know, a, a little bit of a challenge. So while she is letting her three-year-old attention span uh, run amok, um, I am just removing the hardware because I am going to keep these guys. I know a lot of people have feels about whether or not to replace hardware, but if the hardware is in really good shape, I like to keep it because I feel like that's part of the furniture piece's story. Um, I, not everyone agrees, but that is my opinion and that's how I like to do my furniture. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then I also wanted to see if the drawers were all working well. And the middle top drawer actually ended up needing some wood glue in the dovetailing, um, which is actually the best place for a repair to be made. Um, I feel like it allows you to fix it without damaging the drawers further. I've learned my lesson and done other techniques, but I feel like wood glue in the dovetailing is my favorite repair to do. <laughs> um, so, and then I'm continuing to clean the piece and scrub the little details just so when I add my paint later on, I have the best adhering possible.
Okay, so here I was testing to see what kind of paint was on here. I think it was some sort of latex, and guys, I hate latex paint so bad. Like, I, I hate taking it off. So after making the mistake of putting paint stripper on it and cleaning it all up, I decided that the paint job was actually good enough um, that I didn't have to worry about anything peeling up and the paint that I'm using melange paints is actually a really uh, good bonding paint and I just knew I was gonna be okay So this is actually another one of my favorite parts of furniture flipping, cleaning the hardware. I actually love like any part of furniture flipping, but there's something about putting the hardware in that water and white vinegar and boiling it and seeing the paint peeling off that just gives me goosebumps, guys. I, I love it and I love cleaning it off and seeing the little uh, diamonds in the rough come to life. So after cleaning off all my hardware, I went in with my favorite Rust-Oleum metallic gold paint and sprayed them. I didn't get the footage, guys. I I don't know what it was about this piece. I just kept forgetting my phone and I kept forgetting to hit record. And then the few times that I did, the girls got a hold of it and messed up the footage. So I'm sorry if this video is choppy, but I mean... You guys are probably used to it by now. <laughs> After making a quick field trip to see my friend JC Vintage, or you guys might know her as Fran, to get some melange paints, I came back and I did two coats of melange's one formula in the color Jet Black. And guys, this is my favorite black. Literally my favorite black. Um, actually, it's between this and uh, Limousine Leather by Bear, but I love this obviously because it's a three in one paint primer color and top coat and it just makes painting so much easier and especially if you're a mother you have very little time to keep doing coat after coat after coat and not having little kids running around and trying to touch it so the less painting steps possible the better <laughs> 
So that's why I love this. It's an easy all-in-one job and it's self-leveling and I love that. It's just a dream to work with and I have very few paints that I've tried but it, this is definitely probably my favorite or it's between this and Lily Moon. Well, I don't know. <laughs> they both have their own different qualities that I like. And if you guys want to try them yourself, um, I will put the links for both Melange paints and Lily Moon paints in the description box down below. And you can check it out yourself. I will include not my coupon code, but uh, coupon codes from fellow, fellow flippers. Uh, that way you can get that 10% off. Uh, you know, every little bit helps and I love sharing. And I almost forgot, if you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Martina. I am a stay-at-home mom and currently a furniture flipper. I am the uh, discoverer, painter, uh, designer, all the other things that you can think of behind Remade by Marty, which is my brand. Um, I'm working to make this an official business, hopefully by the end of the year, and um, yeah, I am showing my journey as a stay-at-home mom um, here on YouTube, but if you want to follow more of the furniture flipping aspect of my life, um, I have an Instagram account that you can follow. I'll put the uh, hash whatever. Um, tag <laughs> up so you guys can look up my name. Um, I would love to share my stories with you guys and get your input and feedback. So even though this paint has a built-in primer, I just went ahead and put a furniture bomb over the top just, you know, to give it a little shine. Um, in, in hindsight, I wish I wouldn't have done that. I wish I would have um, maybe used a wax or maybe my Howard's feed-in wax because black shows everything and you can you could see the fingerprints. For the longest time after I um, did this so yeah I, I wasn't happy about that but it is what it is and uh, I learned my lesson and uh, after I did this I also lined all the drawers with a peel and stick wallpaper off camera because I'm a little camera shy when I do that um, I'm just kidding more like I forgot to film it again
So after putting back all the hardware and making sure that they were nice and straight and not crooked like I had originally done, let's take a look at what this piece used to look like in store and once I got it home in my backyard, it needed some love. It wasn't in horrible shape. I've definitely had pieces that look a lot worse, but I knew it needed a little love and some TLC and I was able to transform it into such a beautiful piece. I'm so excited. Here's the final look, guys. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a cost breakdown. The piece was $65. The paint was about $25. I will say I spent about $15 on the lining for the drawers and $15 in miscellaneous supplies costs. So that puts me at about $120 all in and I listed this piece at $475. So if it does sell for this price, I will be making a profit of $355. So cross your fingers guys that this thing sells and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it just so you know whenever I upload a video. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.